Today for math, we are going to start off by reviewing our calendar again. So let's take a look at our calendar. And who can remember what month we are in? Our month is written right up here at the top of our calendar. We are in the month of August. Everyone say August. August. Good job. Now remember, our days of the week are at the top of our calendar right here. You kind of can't see it. It's kind of a glare from my window. But the days of the week are up here. This says Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So today is Tuesday, August the 18th. Tuesday, August the 18th. Now, to get us back in the groove of things and think about our months, we are going to do our month song again, like we did yesterday. Remember when we stand up and we do our dance? Today, when we do that, whenever you all hear August, I want you to do this. It's kind of like I call those spirit fingers. So do this whenever you hear August, okay? So I'm going to scoot back, and we are going to do our months dance, okay? So everyone stand up. Okay, are you ready? Let me scoot back a little more. Okay, ready? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, then you sit right down. Good job, guys. So that just tells us our months and what order the months come in. So we are in the month of August. Now, I told you our day of the week is Tuesday today. Today is Tuesday, August the 18th. So we are going to do our days of the week song. Sorry, my easel's a little squeaky today. Okay, ready? So this is where you're gonna snap or make this noise if you can't snap, okay? So the day of the week is Tuesday. When you hear day, our day of the week, I want you to do spare fingers again, okay? So listen for Tuesday, ready? Days of the week, days of the week, Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Really good. You guys are getting good at that. Okay, so let's look back up here at our calendar. Now, We've talked about, we've had some special days in August so far. We've had a birthday last week. We have one coming up this week, and then we have one next week. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna count the number of days till Miss Carolina's birthday. Now today is Tuesday the 18th. Her birthday is on the 19th. So we're on the 18th right here. Let's count, we have one, two. So really it's two days till Carolina's birthday. Okay, so we have all day today, then tomorrow is Carolina's birthday. Her birthday is on Wednesday the 19th. Okay, let's count how many days till Jada's birthday. So we're here, we are on the 18th. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight days till Jada's birthday. Now, I think we need to count, and we need to count all the days that we've had in August so far. Okay, so we're gonna start at one and we're gonna go till we get to 18. Okay, ready, count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have had 18 days in August so far. Okay, good job. You, you guys are getting really good at the calendar. Okay, so next what we are going to do is we are going to talk about buttons and we're going to talk about describing buttons and we're going to talk about all the different things that you can look at a button and see and how buttons are different from each other. So I'm going to show you guys a button. Okay, and raise your hand or give me a thumbs up if you know what a button is. Give me a thumbs up. All right, we have buttons on our clothes. Sometimes there's buttons on different things that we use during the day. We press buttons. We have buttons pretty much everywhere we go, right? So I'm going to show you a button, okay? Let me hold it like this so you can see it. Everyone take a good look at this button. What do you notice about this button? 
What does it look like? What kind of shape is it? What color is it? Is it big? Is it small? How many holes are in it? So I want you to take a minute and I want you to look at this button. And then we are going to write on our chart paper and we're gonna describe all these things we notice about this button. Okay. Okay. Good job. So I'm gonna set the button down and turn my camera around. Okay, so up here it says describing buttons. So the first thing I have written down is the color. So what color is this button? You all tell me, what color is this button? It's blue, very good. So right here where it says color, I'm going to write blue. B L U E, blue. Then I'm going to draw a picture of our button. Okay. Okay, so there's our blue button. Next, it says shape. What shape is this button? Is this a circle? No. Is it a triangle? No. It's a square, so this button is a square. So I'm going to write right here where it says shape, I'm going to write square. Okay, then I'm gonna draw a square to represent our square button. Next, it says size. So that means, is it small? Is it big? What kind of size is it? So look at our button again. Now I'm holding it, I'm having to hold it up close to the camera. So that should tell you something about the size of our button. It's pretty small, this is a pretty small button. So for size, I'm going to write small. Small, okay? Now this last one says holes. So let's look at the number of holes that are in our button. Okay, so let's look. Look at the, the holes that are in the top of this button. You see it, or they're kind of in the middle, I guess. Let's count the number of holes. One, two, three, four. So there are four holes in this button. Do you all see the holes? You can see right through it, see? So I'm going to write a big four right here because there are four holes in our button. Now, this is just one button. Not all buttons look the same. Buttons are different. Just like me and you are different, you and your friends are different. Buttons are all different shapes and sizes. So I'm going to hold up another button for you guys. Okay, I'm gonna hold up this button. Okay, take a look at this button. What do you notice about this button? How is it different from our other button? How is it the same? Okay, so the first thing I notice is that it's a different color. So what color is this? I want you to shout out, what color is this button? It's green, that's right. It's green, just like my shirt. So this is a green button, our last button was blue. Now, what else I notice about this button is it is a different shape. Our last button was a square. What shape is this? It's a circle. So this button is a circle and it's green. Now I do notice something that is the same. I want you all to look at the holes in this button. How many holes do you see? I see four. Now our other button, it had four too. So look, I'm gonna hold up the two buttons beside each other. Look, this button has four holes. This button has four holes. So they're, they're kind of alike that they have four holes, but they're very different in their shape and their color. Right? So we are comparing these two buttons. So we're gonna keep working with different buttons and different materials like that. We're gonna be describing them and comparing how they're the same and how they're different.